Hello, welcome back with another informative video and in talk in town nowadays. This time we are back with the play to earn games in metaverse and how they work. Since quite some time now, play to earn games have been all the rage. Although some say crypto games will revolutionize the industry, others remain skeptical. Do you really not have an opinion yet? Are you feeling like you still don't understand play to earn games fully? You are watching the right video. You'll find everything you need. In this video, you will learn about play to earn games and blockchain gaming. Defining play to earn games. Having a good understanding of what play to earn games are will help you identify them. It is true that players can earn money by playing games. Blockchain technology is the foundation of a business model known as play to earn. Players can play games and earn cryptocurrencies in the process. In what way does this all happen? Play to earn games give players a chance to gain access to potentially valuable in-game items. Skins, cards, or a particular type of cryptocurrency are all examples. In addition to collecting more assets, the more players play, the more valuable those assets become. Traditionally, these assets were only valuable in the game they belonged to. In play to earn games, however, they are real-world assets. Players can sell their assets for cryptocurrency or real money at any time by transferring them to the real world. Furthermore, these games are decentralized, unlike traditional games. In other words, the developer can't control everything from its control center. The in-game assets are distributed among players in play-to-earn games. Players participate in the in-game economy to generate value for themselves and other players. It all works because of one simple reason. Games like these provide people with two things they desire, entertainment and the possibility of earning money. Play to earn crypto games. It's no coincidence that play to earn games are often called crypto games. You can earn cryptocurrency by playing play to earn games. That's what sells them. This can easily be translated by the players into, if this cryptocurrency gains value. You might become extremely wealthy overnight. In addition to player motivation, here's how these games work. Crypto-based games offer players small amounts of cryptocurrency as rewards. In the game, they can earn cryptocurrency by completing tasks, entering contests, or engaging in other activities. Play to earn games NFTs. A discussion of play to earn games is incomplete without mentioning NFTs. Here is a brief explanation of this mysterious abbreviation. Tokens are virtual collectibles that are non-fungible. Images, music, and text can all be used as tokens. Typically, they appear as items that players are already going to collect anyway. They can be characters, items, skins, or virtual lands. It all sounds quite familiar, doesn't it? Here's the catch about NFTs. There are no substitutes for NFTs, which are unique, irreplaceable assets. You can compare them to the painting of Mona Lisa. It's only possible on the blockchain. This also applies to gaming. Not only are these assets stored within the game, but also on the blockchain. They each also have their own value. In a game, two players may have NFT's characters that are almost identical. Both have helmets, but one is red, while the other is blue. Upon trading, one would gain a more valuable character than the other. Your question comes to mind, and we know what it is. Are play to earn NFT's games free to play? Right? Are these games just a way to give out NFT's to players? The developer determines this. Free-to-play games are developed by some developers. For playing those games, players are rewarded with NFTs, engagement and a little time are all it takes. Some people want more than just time. A few developers ask players to invest an upfront amount before they can play their games. The more precise terminology is that players buy NFTs from others. It is also known as a pay-to-earn game. Even though the games are different, they still fall into the same category. 
There is some profit potential in both games. NFT's ownership in play to earn games. The NFTs belong to the players. Not the developers, not the games, nor anyone else's. It remains in the players' hands even if the game shuts down. Once players own an NFT, what can they do with it? They can do whatever they want. NFTs are usually valued highly by players, and they will try anything to increase their value. In other words, they need to commit to the game for a while. They can sell or trade them when they decide it is the right time. There are dedicated markets in which players can offer their NFTs outside of the game. Players will receive cryptocurrency if they are successful in selling the NFTs. Why are play-to-earn games so popular? There has been a major psychological shift caused by play-to-earn games. Games are changing not only in the way they are developed, but also in the way players perceive them. The essence is that players are beginning to realize their value. They are no longer willing to rely on one-way communications and greedy economies. It is important to them to have a more prominent role in games, and they want to own the assets they have worked so hard to acquire. Some players, however, don't care about these things. Money is all that matters to them. Play-to-earn games in developing countries. Players in some countries saw play-to-earn games as a way to earn a living. In the Philippines, this is best exemplified. The unemployment rate in this country reached 40% when the pandemic first started. Additionally, according to Country Economy, the minimum wage is extremely low, around $230 per month. In the Philippines, there's a game that's become a phenomenon, Axie Infinity. It was possible to earn up to $1,000 by farming the game's SLP currency, 101 blockchains, at the time. As a result, the Philippine government announced that people who make a living playing this game will have to pay taxes. You probably already know that Axie Infinity is a pay-to-earn game. What is the cost of entry for Filipinos? How do they afford it? As a solution to this issue, players have created NFT rental communities or guilds. Players rent their NFTs from Axie owners at a small fee within these communities. Afterwards, players can earn cryptocurrency by playing Axie Infinity without any significant upfront payments. Top 10 Play-to-Earn Games List of 2022 The market competition is getting fierce with the growing number of play-to-earn projects. The following are some of the best play-to-earn games you can play right now. Number 1. Axie Infinity Number 2. The Sandbox Number 3. Decentraland Number 4. Serare Number 5. Gods Unchained Number 6. Alien Worlds Number 7. Blanco's Block Party Number 8. Zoo Crypto World. Number 9. Rumble Kong League. And number 10. Splinter Lands. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe our channel. Like and share the videos and don't forget to hit the bell icon.